In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly replace this old mechanical hard drive with this newer, larger capacity SSD. We're going to quickly run through the complete process, start to finish, in less than five minutes. We're not going to need anything but some free software and one of two different types of cables, depending on whether you're using a desktop or a laptop. We're going to be cloning one drive to the other, so it's not going to be necessary to reinstall Windows, reinstall programs, reset settings, or anything like that. So let's get started. I'm going to be using a SATA cable with a desktop in this first example. This is my test machine. It has an ancient 80 gig mechanical hard drive. The hard drive has become a huge bottleneck for the machine, so we're going to flip it out for this 128 gig SSD. The first thing we want to do is make sure the machine is completely turned off. Now, using the extra SATA cable, Plug the new drive into the motherboard alongside the existing drive. Connect a SATA power connector and we're good to go. One thing to note, if you have a small form factor desktop that only has two SATA connectors on the motherboard, one of which is already connected to something else like a DVD or Blu-ray drive, you can disconnect that temporarily and make use of the free connector for the cloning process. Once that's done, go ahead and turn the machine back on. Now with the second example, using a USB to SATA adapter, which will be required if you're cloning with a laptop, hooking it up is even easier. Simply connect a new drive to the USB adapter, then plug the USB into the computer. In this example, the computer doesn't even need to be turned off first. Now that our new drive is connected, let's grab the free software we'll need for the cloning process. In a browser, let's go to the site makerium.com slash reflect free. I'll have a link to this site in the description. Scroll down to the section labeled Reflect 8 Free and click on the Download Free button. Select Personal Free License and enter an email address. This does need to be a real email address since they send you a custom link in an email to download the software from. Click through the continues to finish registering. Now once you click on the link provided in the email they sent you, go ahead and run the file that is downloaded and click through the install process. You will need to check the box labeled this software is being installed for personal use only. Since you are already registered, you can unselect the registration checkbox. Now that the software is installed, let the cloning process begin. Go ahead and click on your original drive, then click on Clone This Disk. Click Select a Disk to Clone To and select your new drive. Now click Copy Partitions and select the option Shrink or Extend to Fill the Target Disk. You can see in our example that the program will expand the original drive when cloning to make use of the larger size of the new drive. Go ahead and click through all this and click OK to start. How long the cloning process takes depends on how much data you have to clone, as well as the speed of the original and new drives. This example took about 16 minutes. Now that the cloning process has finished, go ahead and shut down the computer. We're going to simply remove the original drive and put the new clone drive in its place. This is a fairly simple process with a desktop machine. However, with a laptop, accessing the hard drive can be a bit of a challenge. It may involve a bunch of tiny screws, removing panels, things of that nature. I recommend referring to your laptop's product manual because every laptop is different. Once we turn the computer back on, 9 times out of 10, it should start right up without a problem. You may get a warning from your BIOS that hardware has changed, but otherwise, it will boot straight into the new drive. Our example machine is back up and running, and it's quite a bit more responsive with the new drive. You can see here the additional free space it now has as well. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, and thanks so much for watching.